this is Kyle from We Tech Care Review, and today I'm going to show you a quick video on how you can get the current month, so the current time month, and we can display that in a number or we can display that in text. So the current month of recording this video is April, so we're going to display that as the fourth, and we're going to display it as the word April as well. So let's just get straight into it. Now I'm just going to do this in a variable. Um, so I'm just going to initialize a variable, um, current month. I'll just set that as text. And then it's the expression that we want to use here now. So first, I'm just going to do the number of it. So it'll be format, date, time. And then we're going to get UTC now. So we get the current date. And then do a comma. And then in your single quotes, I'm just going to do capital MM. So that's going to get the current full date. And then we're just going to take the month from that. So if I just click OK, that's going to add that there. Now I'll just do a space hyphen space. And I'm just going to do another expression to pull it back as a word. Um, so if I just do another format date time, open the brackets, again we're going to do UTC now so it'll get the current date, and do a comma, and then in our single quotes we're going to do four capital M's, so that's going to change that month into a word, so let's just click OK on that. OK, perfect, so I'm just going to save and test this. And there you can see, so there you can see it's worked, it's, so it's pulled the fourth back for the numbers, for the double M's, and then it's pulled the word April back for the four capital M bits. Um, I hope this video helps. Please like and subscribe to the channel, and take care. Thank you.